hey guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to solve another question uh about the method of joints so uh we have uh this figure that we need to determine the force in each member of the truss and state if the, the member um is in tension or compression and we know that the force p1 is 2 kil 20 kilonewton and the force p2 is 10 kilonewton so we're gonna so since we have to use uh we have to find the force in each member we're gonna go with the method of joints so we're gonna use the method of joints for this question and we can start with uh one of the joints so usually we start with the joint that uh is simplest and here p1 um, has the least force acting on that point and that joint so here we have the p1 we have the force of the member cb and we have the force of member cd so the question now is what's the direction for these forces that we're considering uh, so usually we can go if, if it's if it's not that easy to figure out the direction of the force we can assume a one direction and at the end if we get a negative sign for that force that shows that the direction was incorrect but in here if we look at the joint c so we started with joint c We'll see that p1 is acting downward and since we are in equilibrium we have to have some of the all forces uh equal to zero and here we have the py acting on y direction and the only force that we have in y direction if cd and since it's equilibrium it has to be upward to cancel that out so we kind of can get an idea by just looking at the joint about the direction of the forces but uh, we can assume something and at the end um, if it wasn't great again we're going to get a negative answer so let's go for the fx for our equilibrium equation as as we can see the only force that is acting on x direction is uh, fcb and since there is no force that means that FCB is zero and we can move on to our FY equation and here would be the, the positive direction for Y and as we can see we have FCD positive and P1 negative and that shows that FCD is uh, P1 magnitude, which we know from the question, is 20, so it will be 20 kilonewton. We also have to show uh, if the member is in compression or tension. So if we look at joint C, uh, here is the member that is attached to point C, which is the member CD. And we figure out that the the force that is acting on the joint from the member is uh, in this direction. So based on the Newton's law, it has to be something in the opposite direction to the member to cancel out that. And it will, if we look at that, we'll see that the member is in compression. So we can put a compression in here. So that's pretty much what we can get from the first joint. And uh, we need to move on to another joint. If we look at the other joints, we'll see that D is also uh, one of the joints that uh, not many forces uh, acting on it. So based on the FCD, we, we figure out that the, um, the FCD was... Um, going upward which means in here has to be in this direction so we'll have fcd uh we need to be mindful of the directions uh from previous steps because um 
if we don't follow the same direction that we chose from the beginning, it's going to uh, mess up with the answer. So for P2, uh, we had 10 kilonewton, which is a given in the question. If we look at here, we have P2, 10 kilonewton uh, acting to the right. And there are two members that are um, acting on this. So we have the FBD and we have FDA. But again, the question is uh, how we can figure out the direction. <clears throat> if you look at the Y direction, we'll see that FCD is downward. And the only member, so we have these other two members, let, let's call it FBD and FDA. And we're going to figure out the direction. So we'll see that only FDB has Y component. And in order to cancel out FCD, which we know from the previous step that is downward, this has to be um, upward. And if we go to our X equation, we'll see that both of the forces that have X, X component are rightward, which means they're all positive. So that shows that FDA has to be negative or to the left to cancel those out. Uh, so based on this, uh, we can find the directions, but well, let's let's just go to our equations uh, to make sure that everything is correct. So again, we have our fx to the right positive. So we'll have the 10 kilonewton in x. We'll have fda. And we need to find the x component of uh, fbd. So for that, we need to either have this angle to figure out the direction. But if we get back to the question here, we'll see that we already have uh, these two distances. So we can find the, if we look at uh, this triangle, which is a right triangle, we can find the um, hypotenuse easily, let's call it A. Uh, using the Pythagorean theorem that we can find these two and if we do that we can find a which will be uh, 2.5 so now that we have that we can easily uh, find the x and y component so for x component we need the cosine which will be uh, adjacent over the hypotenuse so we have 2 over 2.5 and if we do that uh, that's pretty much everything in x direction so we'll get uh, 0 but like since we don't have FBD and FDA we need to move on to our FY equation so if we do our FY again this is the positive direction we'll have the FCD negative and we have the FBD this time sign of this angle which means uh, opposite um uh, divided by the hypotenuse so we have 1.5 divided by 2.5 this equals zero and we know fcd is 20 from the previous part and from here we can find fbd which will be 33.3 kilonewton uh, but we need to find the, we need to show that <clears throat> the member is in tension or compression. So FBD, if we look at here, I'm going to show it in red. Again, this is the force that is applied to the joint. And if it's in, if this is the member, we have to have uh, another force in the opposite direction. And as we can see, the member will be in tension. So for FBD, we'll have tension.
and now that we have fpd we can simply put that in the previous equation uh let's call this equation one now that we have fpd we know that uh 10 minus fda plus fpd which is 33.3 .3 times 2 over 2.5 equals 0 and from here we can find fda it's 36.7 kilonewton again we need to find if the member is in uh tension or compression i'm going to show it in uh, green this time for member da so if this is the force that is acting to the joint so we have the member here we have to have the opposite force which means this force is in compression so we'll have compression for this force and that would be the final answer for this question.